Hey guys, it's Dealer Cat here, and today I'm going to be talking about um, my predictions for Michigan's 2018 football schedule. And I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I believe they will finish next year. I'll talk about the teams they play, when was the last time they played, who won that game, what was the score of that game, and the series of that game, of how it's going so far. So, first... We're going to start off with, of course, how the season is going to start. And week one is going to be on Saturday, September 1st. And Michigan is going to start off against their rival, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish in South Bend. Now, this is going to be a close game and a tough game as well. Because Michigan is still trying to um, recover from last year. And Notre Dame was doing good last year. And Michigan is looking pretty well. And they're looking like they're going to do really good next year. The last time Michigan Notre Dame played was in 2014, where Notre Dame won 31 to nothing. And right now Michigan is leading the series 21 16 and one. And I am predicting that revenge is coming to South Bend, and Michigan is going to win. They're going to beat Notre Dame. It's going to be a close game, but Michigan's going to pull it off, and they're going to start off one and zero on the season. And it's going to be a prime time game two at 7:30 at night. All right, their next game in week two, they're going to go back to Ann Arbor on September 8th, and they're going to be playing the Western Michigan Broncos. Now, Michigan is going to dominate Western Michigan. Now, I know I'm jumping to conclusions this fast, but I believe they're going to dominate them. Western Michigan finished 6-7 and seven last year. I don't think they're going to do well at Michigan. Michigan is very... Michigan is very good against group of five opponents, especially at Michigan. So I'm predicting Michigan is just going to blow them out. The last time Michigan played Western Michigan was in 2011, and Michigan won 34-10. to And right now, Michigan leads the series 6-0-0. So as of right now, Western Michigan hasn't beat Michigan yet. And actually, out of all the years Michigan has played football, Michigan has only lost one game against an MAC opponent, and that was against Toledo in either 2008 or 2010. It wasn't 2009. If I was 2009, then correct me if I'm wrong, but if you guys know what year it was, then tell me in the comment section down below. But Michigan's going to win. Then week three, they're staying in Ann Arbor, and they're going to be playing the SMU Mustangs. This is going to be the second time they play. Michigan only played them once before. And that was in 1963, over 50 years ago. And Michigan won that game 27-16. to 16. So Michigan is going to win this game big time. It's going to be a blowout again. Michigan is going to start 3-0, and and that's how it's going to go. Then a week four, Michigan starting Big Ten play. They're going to start off against the Nebraska Cornhuskers at Michigan on September 22nd. Now Michigan is going to win this game. I believe they're going to win. I know Nebraska just picked up Scott Frost, the head coach from, who coached Central Florida to their unbelievable undefeated season last year, but nobody is expecting that he's going to do anything at Nebraska because typically coaches who are who do really good at group of five schools don't typically do a power five. I mean, look at P.J. Fleck. He, just was, he was just the coach for Minnesota – or actually, he coached Western Michigan, who led them to their undefeated season in 2016, and he coached Minnesota last year. They didn't do so hot. They only won four games. Okay, now on September 29th, Michigan, they're going to be traveling to Evanston, Illinois. They're going to take on the Northwestern Wildcats. Oh, shoot, hold on. I forgot something about Nebraska. All right, I should mention it now. The last time Nebraska and Michigan played was in 2013. Nebraska won that game 17 to 13. Right now, the series is tied 4-4 and 1. I actually have a fun fact here. Michigan is leading the is leading the series against every team in the Big Ten except Nebraska. This series is tied. If Michigan beats Nebraska later later in September, then Michigan will be leading the series against every team in the Big Ten. And that's pretty impressive. Anyway, back to Northwestern. Um, they will be playing at Northwestern September 29th. And I this game is going to be close. 
Northwestern did they did pretty well last year, and they won their bowl game against the Kentucky Wildcats. Funny, both of their team names are Wildcats, but and I know Kentucky is typically not that good of a team, but Kentucky did did okay last year. Anyway, I predict Michigan is going to win this game. It's going to be close. It's not going to be a blow. It's going to be close. Last time they played was in 2015, where Michigan won 38 to nothing. Right now, Michigan is leading the series 57, 15, and two. So Michigan is going to win this game. Then on October sixth, Michigan will be heading back to to Ann Arbor and be taking on the Maryland Terrapins. It's going to be their homecoming game as well. Michigan is going to dominate them. They're going to blow them out. The last time that they played against each other was last year. Michigan won thirty five to ten, and Michigan right now leads the series six one and zero. So Michigan. I mean, I'm sorry, Maryland only beat Michigan once. And I think that was like the first year Maryland was in the Big Ten. So, um, Michigan's gonna win that game. They're gonna not they're gonna not they're not gonna disappoint their fans and students for their homecoming game. And it's gonna be it's how it's gonna be. Then Michigan once again is gonna stay in Ann Arbor on October thirteenth. They're gonna be taking on a tough opponent, the Wisconsin Badgers. They played against each other last year, but it was at Wisconsin, so of course Wisconsin won twenty four to ten. But right now Michigan is leading the series fifty fifteen to one, only one tie. All right, this is gonna be a close game. I'm not. It's not gonna be a blowout. It's not going to be a blowout like last year. It could be a close game like how it went in 2016 where Michigan won 14-7. to But a lot of scoring could be done in this game. But Michigan's going to win. It's going to be a close game. I'm only saying Michigan's going to win. It's because it's at Ann Arbor. If it was at Wisconsin, then I would say Wisconsin would win. After that, the Michigan is going to be traveling to East Lansing, Michigan against their state opponent, the Michigan State Spartans. Now, the last time they, they played against each other last year, Michigan State won 14-10. Both of the defenses in the second half were dominant in that last year's game because of that huge rainstorm that was happening. Michigan's defense only allowed Michigan State to get two first downs in the second half, and, and, Michi- and Michigan State's defense had five interceptions, of course, because Michigan was playing O'Corn. We all know. How terrible O'Corn played last year after that Purdue game. O'Corn did great against Purdue, but after that, he just did terrible. That's my opinion, and I'm glad he's not playing for Michigan anymore. Shea Patterson's coming, and he's going to do amazing for Michigan. Michigan's, Michigan is going to lose this game, in my opinion. This is going to be Michigan's first loss of the season. It's going to be a close game. If it was at Michigan, then I would say Michigan would win. But it's at Michigan State, so I'm saying... Michigan State is going to get the win. It's going to be Michigan's first loss of the year. Then October 7th is going to be their bye week and good timing before the November 3rd game against the Penn State Nittany Lions at Ann Arbor. They played last year, but Penn State dominated Michigan, winning 42-13. to But right now, Michigan is leading the series 13-8-0. Now I'm predicting this is going to be a close game. I don't know how Penn State's going to do without Saquon Barkley now that he's at the Giants, but this is going to be their quarterback, Trace McSorley, his last year at Penn State. Since this is his senior year, unless if he's a red shirt, he's going to be there for another year. I'm not sure. But as to my knowledge at this point, I think this is going to be his last game. I mean, not his last game, his last season. And Michigan's going to win this game in a close battle. It's going to be a victory for Michigan. Then on November 10th, Michigan's going to be heading out to Piscataway, New Jersey to be playing against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Now, we all know what happened the last time Michigan played Rutgers at New Jersey. It was a huge blowout. Michigan won 78 to nothing. That's something me and my friend Ethan laugh about, even still to this day. Michigan's going to win this game big time. I don't know what the score is going to be, but it's going to be a huge blowout for Michigan. Then Michigan will be heading back to Ann Arbor. It's going to be playing against the Indiana Hoosiers for senior day at Michigan. Michigan's going to win this game. I don't know. I can't tell you if it's going to be a blowout or a close game. Because even though Michigan should have blown out Indiana the past two years, it's been close games. Michigan's going to win. And then the the last game of the season, the game itself, at Ohio State, 
It's going to be against the freaking Ohio State Buckeyes. I am so sick and tired of this team. Every Michigan fan hates Ohio State, and every Ohio State fan hates Michigan. It's just a huge rivalry. It's been going on for years. But Ohio State, even though I I hate to say it, Ohio State's going to win. It's going to be a close game. It might even go to overtime, like that 2016 game where it went to double overtime. By the way, JT, that wasn't a first down. Anyway, sorry, I had to get all off topic there. But Michigan is going to lose that game, and unfortunately, they're going to lose. And then hope, and then um, maybe they could get a shot at the Big Ten championship game on December first. And if they do make the Big Ten championship game, I'm predicting they're going to play Wisconsin. They're going to play twice in the season if Michigan does go to the Big Ten championship game. Okay, so that is my prediction for Michigan for 2018. I'm predicting they're going to finish 10-2. And and this is going to be Jim Harbaugh's third season of getting at least 10 wins in a season. Anyway, so that was my prediction. If I said that's how – what a I'm sorry, I can't talk. That's just what, how, what I think. If you guys disagree with what I think, then feel free to put down in the comments below how you think Michigan will go this year. I think they're going to go 10-2. and two. Now, my next video for sports predictions, I am going to do a video on the Pittsburgh Steelers, my favorite NFL team. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.